particular YouTube um, because sometimes uh, teachers might find that there are ways to embed a um, app puzzle so the way to add the app puzzle is not uh, is not accepted in this manner so how do you get it to look like this so let me just edit and show you how it can be done so sometimes if the if the url is whitelisted properly sometimes you can just insert the url here and then it will correctly show up but in this case it's not done properly uh, so the, the correct way to do it is you come here and then you do the embed code la. how do you get this embed code uh, you go to app puzzle because the the url is here right so i can go to the url the url will show up something like this so the next thing you need to do is you cl click on this thing called the share preview share preview will have the embed code here so you just copy this and then paste it into the sls when you insert a new url so what what do i mean is uh, let's say i let's say i i don't say first i come here i try to click to the side of sls press enter and then i'll do this embed code so there is probably there, there is two ways this is the url way if this doesn't work you got to use the embed code way lah. so when you insert the embed code then if it is if the website is whitelisted uh, then it will be allowed to to launch so you can see there are two instances of this i'm going to delete one of them okay and then i'm going to uh, say okay and then you can now see that the embed code now works uh, so sometimes the embed code while done correctly uh, is, is in a rather small window so you might want to fine-tune the embed code lah. so maybe say the embed code is over here the the height and the, the width can be played with lah, to achieve a better look and feel so maybe this one say 600 you know uh, maybe say this one 450 so if you want it to occupy a, a larger space and yet not allow the student to scroll down too much so you need to play a little bit with the dimensions lah.